You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mound up, then. Let's go. Hey there, girl. You know, it was before my time, of course, but... My mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> Well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stole that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Okay, there, girl. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know, but I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right, lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that.
Another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Yep. Kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. those bison what's your problem i said did you fools shoot those bison calm down you black or red bastard whatever the fuck you are did you shoot them yes we did we shot them bison we'll shoot you too if you don't get what business is it of yours what we uh, uh, it's that business of mine good god you're crazy i got a family a family don't shoot me Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right. I'll get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
What are you doing? Going fishing. The rivers around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on. The fish should be hungry for their dinner. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves, what they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Ha! The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee, it runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Come on, let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather, but rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects.
He's a fighter. Trick is, let him tire himself out. Okay, let's try for another. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman, especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs' mean streak got meaner, and Dutch... Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good-looking fish. Well done. I heard people talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Another one. Come on. You got one. Look at that. That's a good-looking fish. Well done. Don't rush it, Arthur. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Lucky. Almost noon. Fish will stop biting soon. Because of the bugs? Yeah, they only feed in the morning and evening when it's cool and the bugs are out. So maybe we try a few more, then head back. Fine with me. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Another one. Pull to the left as he goes right. Good job, Arthur.
Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or, uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well... In that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? All right, let's do this. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off, Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me fee. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. 
Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much, Forda. Better be worth it. All right. That'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. Don't want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. You know, I've been here before. Is that a problem? No, just didn't realize you meant this place. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right uh, here. Hey, go, Parker. Here come the rest of them. Here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here, and don't look back. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? We take no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right. Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? 
I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. Hello, Reverend. Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but... I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. <laughs> this strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. <laughs> Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Oh, you're right up on me there, huh? You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? <laughs> Ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Not too fast. You could break the line. There you go. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another.
Why aren't you fishing? So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Colm. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord, there's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here for some fishing? We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Don't tell me you changed your mind. I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy. Catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Get after that bluegill, Arthur. So, who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? It might be. It's putting up one hell of a fight.
not bad, but uh, it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. You got it! That has got to be the one, right? No, it don't feel very big to me. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage, and without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's going to be coming right through, and the bank reckons the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Oh, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case... Tilly, you free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stagecoach. Sounds good. Let's do it. It's okay, girl. Okay, follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And uh, you're certain this information sound, Bill? Come on, dig those spurs in! Can we just ride together? Now, as I was saying, after that mess, Cornwall stage, I wanna make sure we're not riding in another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much, but what's the story? Brute, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I'd feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, you stay alive.
That's what they used to tell me in the army. They kicked you out of the army. They did not. I beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her anymore. Now that's made my day. Saying? Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never have. Running with them foreman boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. <laughs> all right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters, so do this right. So the stage should be coming from over there. What you want me to do? But you just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half-man, what does that even mean? Will you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. We doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me. What's the plan? There's been a change of plan. Yes, you act dumb and get them to Mess of that. 
We stopped it, didn't we? Yeah, after chasing it all over New Hanover, but God knows who watching. Got it. All right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't take off again. I know, I know. Go on. I'll see you back at camp. Oh, sure. She had half the time believing we were real estate investors. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill, this is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite. I got two pistols. I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. So, <laughs> who told joking. you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. Yeah, you're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I... For a tight crew, just five, six strong gun. Well, no but. They're stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I. Price on our heads. We are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellas. For a year, was it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him, too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. 
We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone... Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger out of town. Are you insane? Uh, Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. You just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming Shit. through any minute now. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. Come on, girl. Arthur, you free? Sure, old man. Ah, enough of that old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting now? Bored. You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on, let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No, there's monsters out there that'll eat a feller for fun. Oh, Arthur, I thought you were a man. No, sir. Huh. When it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Whew. Head for those trees across from us, we'll take a look. On the starboard side. What? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. 
Whatever you say. Okay, go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no, ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. Pull us in over there. Here? Yeah, yeah, come on. There's more than crawfish in these waters. Stop your whining, please. This is Beneath the place. You. Now tell me, Arthur, have you ever birthed a cow? No. Man, it's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? Now, do you see this all? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand in. Watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Well, seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So, how long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. All water under the bridge now. No pun intended. Oh, look there. Another crayfish hole. You see it? You try this time, Arthur. And remember to reach down deep and get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. Best not to think about it too much. Find anything? Oh, I got some. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? I bet there's more down there. There we go. What did I tell you? <laughs> okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. of other creatures there those gators yeah three and they're female must be guarding nests so gator eggs really valuable even better eating i'd love cooking with them okay tell you what i'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them draw their attention and then run like hell now assuming i don't get eaten you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I thought it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan. Yeah! 
better take us back to the dock. Excellent. That's what I call teamwork. I don't think I've ever seen you move that fast. People pay a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in Saint Denis who gives top dollar for them. For military, of all things. Yeah, I met him. He's quite the character. Well, this has been very pleasant. Very pleasant indeed. That was fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? <laughs> oh, what? Thank you. Here, have some crawfish. I'll give you some of those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy. To replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Get over here. What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Whose cows? It's a drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> Okay, let's mount up. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the road's turnoff. Go! So how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon and roads a bit. Rogues? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me, running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Well, maybe we should cut you open. Out the rings of whiskey. Now I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics. You know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, we're gonna I'll cut up this way. it when I see it. Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. What the hell? Who are these clouds? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan.
You better break the padlock. My lock picking skills ain't what they used to be. What a surprise. That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Got it.
Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move them right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. <laughs>